I'm Dave Wilderman. I'm the program ecologist with the Natural Areas Program and the Department of Natural Resources. And my primary job is to work with our other staff, our natural areas managers, to best manage our natural areas for the species and ecosystems that they were designed to protect. So that involves pulling together the best available scientific information to develop management goals for different sites, um, conducting research and monitoring on management techniques to try to achieve those management goals, and uh, working with a lot of different partners. And recently there was a study done on the Mardon Skipper and what habitat preferences it has, and one of the factors they found was that they prefer small bunches of the native Romer fescue bunch grass, which is one of the main grasses on the prairie out here. And rather than large bunches, they use small bunches and they what they do is they lay their eggs on the fescue and the larvae hatch out and feed on the fescue and it's about the only plant they'll use to feed on. So this recent study found that they actually prefer smaller bunches. I think before people had sort of assumed that larger amounts of cover or more of this plant would be better automatically, but this study has kind of refined that knowledge. We did a prescribed burn on about 12 acres of the site last year, which is something we do in, for general prairie management. And of course, that burns off a lot of the grass cover and reduces the size of these bunches. So we're thinking that that's probably a good management technique to try to um, improve the habitat for this Mardon skipper butterfly. And um, what we're interested in is how quickly they regrow and get above that size threshold. So we're gonna take some data this year and we'll be continuing this in future years so we can track how long it takes them to get too large to where the bottom skippers don't.